Good morning, dear students. This is Amit sir. Today, we are going to start a new chapter, computer software. In this chapter, we will briefly go over the basic of what software is and its different types. We will also talk about a couple of examples and see some common uses of the software. So, what is software? As we already know, all the tangible parts of computer which we can touch or feel are hardware. Example, the CPU box, headphones, joystick, keyboards, barcode reader, mouse, even the processor chip while software it is a program that run on a computer it is a set of instructions for doing different types of tasks on a computer or other devices such as a smartphone in other words we can say software is a collection of programming codes or instructions that enable the user to interact with the computer and its hardware to perform a particular task. It is a bridge in between of the user and the computer hardware. Therefore, software is needed for the hardware to work. Without software, most computers would be useless. For example, without your internet browser like Chrome, Firefox, you could not surf the internet or read online pages. Example like e-newspaper in your computer or mobile browser example of software is notepad now let's talk about the various type of computer software there are mainly two types of computer software one is system software and another one is application software system software is needed to run and maintain the computer it is a collection of programs that are designed to operate, control and extend the processing capabilities of the computer itself. These software are directly interact with the hardware. System software provides an interface between the hardware and the end user. Some examples of system software are operating system like Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Android, then compiler, interpreter, assembler, and various antivirus software, disk backup software, etc. Now let's talk about some features of system software they are close to the system in other words they directly interact with the hardware they are difficult to design difficult to understand as they are written in very low level language so designing and understanding the codes are a little difficult they are less interactive smaller in size and also difficult to manipulate as they are written in low level language the codes are not easy to manipulate the main types of system software are operating system utility programs and drivers we will explore more about them 
in our next class. That's all for today. Stay safe and have a nice day.